Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a flip through of my custom LEGO calendars. So here on the front page, as you can see, this is a pretty weird photo for a cover of a calendar. This is actually supposed to be the photo for March of 2016. As you can see, it's like a leprechaun with some gold here, and I used a really cool photo technique at the back. What ended up happening was I discovered after I already took the photos that Easter was in March this year. So I had to use my Easter photo in March and get rid of my March photo. But because I was so happy with this photo, I decided I'd use it in the cover instead. Now that you've heard that story, let's move on to January. As you can see, January is this really cool winter month with all the kids playing in the snow on the sled. They have, you know, a snowman and a little thing that throws snowballs. And it's just kind of fun for winter fun. Here in February, we have a couple, you know, at, at the Valentine's set. Maybe they're getting engaged. Either way, he's giving her a ring, which she looks pretty happy. Here in March is the April photo, and as you can see, it is a picture of a bunny as well as a kid painting Easter eggs together. Here in April, there's this girl walking in a park, and it's like April showers, so she's up, she's got her umbrella, there's a frog, and a big lightning bolt. Here in May, as you can see, it's Bring May Flowers. There's a nice tree with the springtime set and a couple holding hands. Here in June, because that's when all the sports and stuff start up, we have some kids here playing soccer. This is a cool photo to take because I actually took two photos in one. One photo is just the regular photo, and then the new photo with the soccer ball and a bunch of bricks holding it up. And then I just merged the two photos together and edited out the bricks. Here in July, it is time to chill by the beach. As you can see, I created this beach scene here with a palm tree and fences, and overall I think it just looks pretty cool. For August, this is actually the most liked picture I've ever gotten on Instagram, which is kind of cool. It is a picture of a guy going down a Lego roller coaster in front of all these buildings. I really like this picture and I used cool Photoshop technique to get rid of the background of the original photo and added a picture of my city. For September, unfortunately, it's time to go back to school. As you can see, we have a bunch of kids and getting off the Lego school bus with a bike and a tree because it's back to school time. Over here in October, it is Halloween time, so that's pretty neat. As you can see, I have Shaggy and Scooby running from the haunted house with some Series 14 monsters chasing them. Over here in November, it is Thanksgiving. Now, Thanksgiving's not in November for me, but because I figured most of my customers were from the States, I made Thanksgiving here in October. In November, sorry. And finally, the last month of the calendar is December. As you can see, Santa's just riding on a bunch of snow with some trees in the background and then this cool photography technique that I learned. And unfortunately, that is it. That is the end to my Lego calendar. I really hope you enjoyed the calendar and I still do have a couple for sale. They're going to be really cheap because it is the new year now and I would like to get them gone. So if you would like a calendar, please send me an email. The link will be down in the below. And as I said, they'll be very cheap. Thanks everybody for watching and have a great day.